All right, this is G Money. I just wanted to go over these uh, inbots. I told you I would. These right here are your 65 millimeters here. And these are 60. Oh, we got them backwards. 60 and 65. And these are going to say Jasper, Inert, Finite, or Pale. And they're called umbots. That's what over in the French they call them. These are the actual serial numbers and the reference codes that categorizes them. Now, they have two sides to them, as you can tell. One side of the Cartier is on this side. These are the real deals. Once you can see the Cartier here, and then one is on the other. Now, when you're replacing them, there's going to be two packs. Uh, like this four pack right here run you about 300 bucks. Uh, it's for four pair of Cartier glasses. You have your, which these are your rights, and then you have your lefts. And these are your lefts. So if they were both pointing the same way, then the glasses would never, uh, the earpieces would never be able to match on them. So as you can see, Cartier, Cartier. Flipped around this one here. It's Cartier. No. But those are the 60s and the 65s in the tortoiseshell brown, which are like on your old. Uh, these are a pair of uh, Venadomes, uh, a pair of 50 at 9 millimeters, I believe. Um, Venadomes, um, Santoses. And uh, I think they're 59. It says on the back here. Always remember, you want to look on, yeah, you want to look on that back, and then you see that serial number up under there, right there. That's how you know that they're the real deal. Got the nose pieces, gold nose pieces. And over here, we're going to go to the black ones. These are the black inbots, the Noors. Now, these are the old school ones that have the hook on the side of them. Uh, by these having the hook like that, what that means is that back a long time ago, it made it easier to pick the frames up instead of them sliding out. So that's where these little dubs come from on the side of it. But these are in the black, and they also have the uh, finish uh, with the black with the platinum insert and uh, nor. Nor means black, and these are 65s. And these right here, a set of those usually are gonna run you somewhere in the neighborhood of about 195 or $200 if you can find them. Uh, it's hard for me even to find them uh, um, and what I do uh, for me to be able to, to uh, refinish glasses for my customers. Um, these things are real expensive, and it's, but it's worth it because if you got a pair of $2,000 Cartier glasses and they're a pair of Venadomes that are rare, you can't find them anymore, what, it's worth putting three, four hundred dollars back into the frame to have them fixed right have the right screws and nose pieces uh, so you're not wearing somebody else's old nose pieces. I'm going to show you what some old, dirty Cartier nose pieces look like. And they're nasty. They're dark brown and people's nose sweat has been in them and it's just nasty. That's why you want to buy from an authorized dealer, brand new, or you want to buy from a person like me where you can be able to get uh, the, the new ones. Uh, these here are the burgundy inbots. These are the 70 millimeters. These are the largest of the large. Uh, most of these are on your uh, 80s and seven, uh, 80s and 90 early frames. Um, have the burgundy uh, inbots, and these are 70 millimeters um, to get these. Now these here run you about $300 just to replace them, and 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 they're worth every bit of it, the $300. But the fact of it is, is that when you're replacing these like this, you have to really find uh, the frames that had it. So, you know, that's important. Uh, like I told you, re replacing nose pieces and temples are really, really important. Now, you look at all of these here. Look how dark these are. These are all replaced nose pieces. Look how dark they are, dark yellow. And in fact, they should look more like this if you notice the difference notice these brand new ones notice the brand new ones here it's nice and clear and finished and these are the used ones 
which are all yellow looking with somebody's nose sweat in them and over 20 years or 13 years of people using them, you know, theirs versus mine's when I replace them. There's a platinum, two platinum ones right there. And then they also, as you know, the Cartier, they come in various sizes. And they have this, the gold ones here. Now, these are aftermarket pair. Um, I picked these up a long time ago uh, from this guy. But they're pretty nice, though. Uh, you know, going a nice frame. They have a nice uh, nose grip and nose rest to them. Um, real nice one there. And then... Uh, um, and then one of the best things that you always want to try to do when you're replacing these items is you want to make sure all the new screws are secure. You want to make sure that all of the nose pieces are the correct nose pieces. Nose pieces come in three different sizes. They come in 12s, 16s, and they come in 10s. The 10s are your smaller ones, which will be on some of your lighter frames and your older frames like the Pan 3 and the Venodomes here. The older frames are going to have the 16 and 12s on the nose pieces. Uh, those are gauge the side of your nose, and it kind of gives you a, a raise of how high the nose piece should be. But I wanted to make this little shout out just to show you the difference on those nose pieces. You know, you should get to know to know your nose pieces when you're buying them. And as as I told you before, there if you look at these, there's no these are made in there you see that when you turn it it's all the way made in it's not like it's some type of little uh like the fake ones have this is the real thing these as well as well as the burgundy ones any more questions holla at g money g money fashions thank you for watching